ko Ngāti Paraurawa, ko Te Rarawa Ngāiwi, ko Jack Ray Taku Ingoa. I was born here at Waitakere Hospital. I work as the artistic director of Atameda Dance Company, a Māori contemporary dance company. The question is, who are we? How do we identify as tangata whenua, as people of the land? And what does it mean to be a Māori person in today's society? Basically acknowledging my whakapapa and learning how to reconnect to uh, my lineage, to my ancestors, to the names of the places that where my mana comes from. I know the Hawaiian word is ike and the Māori word is mātauranga and I'm going to take you over to a little garden. You will know as Lono. This is the same atua, the same deity, Lono and Rongo. The Treaty of Waitangi is not just a piece of paper. It is a connection, it's a reality, it is a way of life, and it is a way of speaking to our consciousness and who we are, and not just as people of this land in Aotearoa, but people across the Pacific. You know, you analyse it and you think about the translation and that it means this, but they were really meaning that, and then it led to all of these other types of um, issues like people being their land being taken off them and you know uh, we know these stories and so for me the Treaty of Waitangi is, is also about coming from this point of view of 2018. I don't think it's necessarily about replicating what was in 1840 because we can't. We don't come from that time. We are in this time and we need to be thinking about the solutions of now. And we're gonna go over and back to the office where I work and make a tea. Create systems whereby we have a greater voice and representation in the government and um, contributing to the politics of our land and the decisions of our land. And we've been able to successfully, um, you know, petition and create um, those avenues by which land has been returned, um, people, tribes have been um, uh, compensated for, um, you know, what the treaty um, was supposed to achieve and didn't. So that's really positive. I have a very different relationship to Waitangi Day because um, February the 6th is the day that my father passed back in 2003. And the weird thing about all of this is that I was actually at Waitangi um, my first and only time on this day, on February the 6th. I also get not just to think about Waitangi Day, but I also think about my father and I also think about um, just commemorating it very personally and very intimately. And so I know that everyone has a different relationship to Waitangi Day, but the one that I have and the one that's really important to me is very close to my heart. My vision is really just that we're able to utilize the knowledge rather than have it sit on a table um, unused or be in a museum um, unlived in or be in a book unspoken. Um, I just want to continue the work of what the ancestors have laid before us and um, breathe life into everything who we are and to be mindful and conscious and remember that. Fifty, fifty, ah. Uh...